Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is motives and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 6 and verse 5. When you pray, don't be like the hypocrites who love to pray publicly on street corners and in the synagogues where everyone can see them. I tell you the truth, that is all the reward they will ever get. The last day I started this series on prayer and I started from Jesus' teaching in Matthew 6. As usual, I will go really slowly and I pray that none of us would ever become over familiar with God's word. We spoke the last day about Jesus' choice of words when he said, when you pray, as opposed to if you pray. We stayed on the point that if Jesus used the word when, it means that he expects that a prayer life will be the norm. Today I would like us to push this a bit further. There were things Jesus said after the phrase, when you pray. You will agree with me that these things that he said after that phrase are important if we are going to explore this venture called prayer. Jesus starts by telling us what we should not do in the place of prayer. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites who love to pray publicly on street corners and in the synagogues where everyone can see them. Before even addressing the nitty gritty of prayer, Jesus was warning against showmanship in the place of prayer. As I thought on this scripture, I began to wonder what this would look like in present day Christianity. I have seen believers commending each other on the way they sound when speaking in tongues. Believers now want to sound a certain way or keep their heads at a certain angle when they pray because it seems to be a fad. We see people with active, powerful and fire-filled prayer lives in church and in gatherings who cannot be bothered to successfully raise a prayer altar in their homes or on their own because no one is watching. Anytime you pray or pray in a certain way just to keep up appearances or to impress your pastor or to go along with a fad or a fashion, you are doing what exactly Jesus said you should not. With prayer, yours should be an audience of one. I hear of believers who fight and quarrel because they were not called upon to lead prayers in meetings or in services. What an aberration. Whether a person is in an actual position of leading prayer meetings or in the congregation of those praying, there should be one person to whom all efforts are focused on and only one motive to connect to that one. Once a desire to be seen or to be admired is brought into the mix, the Bible says the nature of your reward changes. The thing about this part of scripture is that you must examine yourself. You know if you are playing to the gallery. No one else may know, but you know. So audit yourself and change direction if you need to. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your word this morning. Lord, please release upon us the grace to be integrous in the place of prayer and to focus on you and you alone as we execute our prayer burdens. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.